Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to turn an old headboard and flipboard into a fun and unique bench. This one I snagged at a thrift store for $5. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for weekly furniture flips and DIY tutorials. So to jump right in, the first thing I did was cut off either end of my headboard and I cut them to 18 inches each. You can cut them to whatever width you would like for your bench. Um, you can save this piece, the middle extra piece from the headboard to add some other decorative elements to your bench if you want. I didn't, but I have done that before. After I cut my pieces out, I wanted to kind of lay my bench out and set it up to see how it would look and kind of figure out exactly what I wanted to do. And once I had done that, I realized that there was some little trim pieces that were kind of overlapping where I needed to put my sideboards. And so I just marked where I needed to remove that. And then I just used a hand saw to carefully remove the chunk that I needed to. And I really tried to cause as little damage to the headboard as I could. I would definitely recommend trying to find a fine tooth saw if you're going to be removing some decorative molding from your furniture pieces, but this is what I had and so I tried to make it work and tear up as little as possible on my headboard. Once I had my pieces cut out and trimmed all up how I wanted them to be, I went ahead and sanded with a fine grit sandpaper. I was planning to paint this headboard so I didn't worry about getting off all the finish but there were some peely spots that I went over pretty well. Um, if you wanted to stain yours you would need to take off all of the old finish before staining. I went ahead and screwed my side pieces directly into the legs of my headboard. Since both my headboard and footboard were solid wood, this was pretty easy and I just used three inch screws to connect those pieces. Once the headboard and footboard are all screwed together, I needed to create a base for my bench seat. To do this, I just grabbed some 2x4s because that's what I had, but I really think that like 2x2s two would work fine or also maybe a 1x4. So first I just measured the width that I needed my boards to be in between both of my side pieces and then I screwed them in just through the side pieces themselves and I'll go back and fill those holes later. So basically I just used my 2x4s to create a frame so that I would have a place to support and also screw in my bench boards that I would be using. This middle piece was important for a couple reasons. One, I needed something to screw my boards into in the center of my bench and also it will keep my boards from drooping and bowing when people sit on them. I'll be using some 2x6 reclaimed lumber to create my bench seat and I went ahead and cut those to the width of my bench and dry fit them before sanding them. Before attaching my bench seat I decided to use some gray chalk paint and paint the whole body of my bench. And while I was out painting, I did end up getting attacked by a gigantic man eating beetle, but I'm really proud of the bravery that I showed in this desperate situation. As I was painting, I remembered that I would forgot to fill my screw holes, so I just grabbed some hole filler and smoothed that over the top, and I just came back and painted over that later. This is 
where things got a little bit interesting. So I grabbed some gel stain and a paint brush that I hacked about the first half inch off just to make it a bit more rigid. And then I really slathered some gel stain on all the trim work and kind of decorative aspects of the headboard. I wanted to kind of bring them out a little bit and use, try using the gel stain as a glaze. Then I just kind of gently wiped the gel stain off. I wanted to keep more of it on the trim and less of it on the back, so I did wipe it off a little harder on the back. Um, I can't really say that this worked any better than a glaze would because I've never worked with glaze, but I do think that I got the effect that I was hoping for in giving the trim even more dimension than it already had. I also use the same gel stain on the boards for my bench seat. After I was done staining the boards, I screwed them into the frame on my bench through the top. I chose to do this because my boards are reclaimed and they were a bit bowed and so I thought this would kind of hold them down better. Um, but you can screw through the bottom if you would like to do that. Afterwards, I went and filled the holes with the same putty I used before and just touched that up with a bit of gel stain. Then I brushed on a coat of polyacrylic to seal the whole bench.